please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning. Today is Friday, November 9th. Attention high school student council members. This is a reminder that butter braid orders are due back on Tuesday, November 13th. Attention boys varsity soccer players, uniforms including blue and white jerseys, shorts and scold issued windsuits should be returned to Ms. Cover in room 227B by Thursday, November 15th. If you have any questions, see please Ms. Cover or Coach Hoffman. After school tutoring opportunities for students in our middle and high school will begin on Tuesday, November 13th with our return from the Veterans Day holiday weekend. Tutoring each day will be available in the cafeteria and will begin at 2.30 and run until 3.45 p.m. Sorry. Attention creative students, there is still time for high school students to create submission for the Prevent Suicide PA Annual Suicide Prevention PSA contest for high school students. The deadline for submissions is Friday, November 16th. More information can be found at psa.preventsuicidepa.org. See the guidance department for more information. Speakers for the next week include Wednesday, 1114 Pittsburgh Technical College. There are less than 90 days to have a regional TSA competition. Have you started on any of your events yet? If not, see your advisor. The boys basketball team is in search of a scorekeeper. Responsibilities include attending at each game and keeping the scorebook for all games. Anyone that is interested in this position should see Mr. Slackoff as soon as possible. Thank you. <coughs> Attention Varsity and JV Baseball. Strength and conditioning sessions will be held each Tuesday and Thursday from 3.30 to 4.30. These are open to all students in grades 9 through 12 interested in playing varsity and JV baseball for the 2019 spring season. Please contact Coach Clark with any questions. Attention World Language Club members. If you are interested in attending our spring field trip, please sign up in Ms. Corber's classroom or see an officer to let them know. Signups for the November Somerset Mobile Food Bank are outside Ms. Abel's room. Any high school student council member who is interested in volunteering at the Somerset Mobile Food Bank at the Calvary United Methodist Church on November 14th from 3 to approximately 4 p.m. should sign outside Ms. Abel's room. If you sign up and plan to volunteer, please get a permission slip from Ms. Abel. Today for lunch, we are having macaroni and cheese with a dinner roll, stewed tomatoes, and applesauce. That's all for now, so thanks, and have a great day. It's Hannah Vogel here with your daily weather forecast. For today's weather, there is a high of 40 degrees and a low of 27. Today will be cloudy with periods of rain. This evening, the rain showers will transition into snow showers as the temperatures drop below 32 degrees. The average chance of precipitation for today is 100%. Looking at the five-day forecast, you can see that we will be experiencing a wide variety of weather. Today will be rainy. Tomorrow will be cloudy with possible snow showers in the morning. Sunday will be partly cloudy. Monday will be mostly cloudy. And Tuesday, we will be receiving more snow. The high temperatures for the next couple of days range from the low 30s to the low 40s. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and have a great day. In a hall that needs monitoring, they are the hall monitors. Today we're on patrol duty. And, hey, that guy's got chips. Hey, get back here. Ow. <laughs> no eating in the hallway. Hall monitor out. Hey, are you interested in a career in health, in the health field, in the medical research, medical technology, or just to be a doctor? If you are, it's not too late to join the Health Science Club, but sign up by November 9th. If you'd like to join the club, you can simply go on Google Classroom and type in the code QC6M2E, and you'll be in the club. On November 15th, we will have our first speaker of the year and it's a lady from WRI and she's going to talk about histology and all the stuff she does within the medical field. You don't necessarily have to be into what she does but just come and gain some knowledge. It'll be at 2.40 but come promptly right after school so you're not late and it'll be until around 3.15 so I hope to see you there. Snacks will be provided. <laughs>
In world news, heavy rains in Italy caused the flooding of the Paive River and the collapse of a bridge north of Venice on Wednesday. In tech, Apple is finally giving the iPad Pro MacBook Air and Mac Mini a refresh. In money, 26% of jobs don't support middle class life after accounting for cost of living. The Wimber Area High School Band. The Wimber Area High School Band is directed by Robert Lane. Their 2018 show is entitled Pathways. The musical selections include Hosannas, Incantations, Prayer of the Children, Pursuit, and Flight. The staff includes Amanda O'Neill, Jesse Trentini, Jackie Wilnecker, Brad Yock, Adam Bukowski, Brandon Lambert, Abby LaRue, Dan Fisher, Chad Heine, and Joe Scheller. The judges are ready. Wimber, is your band ready? Presenting their 2018 show entitled Pathways, Tournament of Bands is proud to present in Atlantic Coast Championship competition, Windber. Sorry, I could not travel both. And he one traveler while I stood and looked down as far as I could. For the straightforward pathway had been lost. And I found myself within a forest dark and savage, abandoning all hope.
looked up to the shining whirlpool. I went into that hidden tunnel, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back, and once more saw the stars. Ladies and gentlemen from TOB Region 11, Windbur. The Windbur area band made its first appearance in the Atlantic Coast Championships in 1985, one of our veteran organizations. Welcome back, Windbur, and thank you. With a score of 93.18, 93.18 in first place, your 2018 Group 1A Atlantic Coast Champion, Windber Area. <laughs> The Steelers played the Ravens for the second time in the season. The first time they played the Ravens, they lost, and James Conner was held to 19 yards. In this game, James Conner has rushed for 107 yards and caught a touchdown pass, helping the Steelers win and improve their record to 5-2-1, and, and Baltimore goes down to 4-5. Juju Smith-Schuster had 7 receptions for 78 yards, no touchdowns. Antonio Brown had 5 receptions for 42 yards and 1 touchdown. Ben Roethlisberger had 28 for 47, 270 yards and 2 touchdowns. Ben Roethlisberger also got one rushing touchdown. Today's word of the day is empirical. If knowledge is empirical, it's based on observation rather than theory. To do an empirical study of donut shops, you'll need to visit every one you can find. Thanks and have a great day. Thank you.